So these right here are the brand new second generation Apple AirPods Pro. And although they look a lot like the original AirPods Pro, these are a completely different experience. Trust me, I've been using them for the past week and there's so much that's new about these that originally when they launched them, right? Everybody looked at them and said, they look like the same as the original AirPods. The only difference maybe is the case. And the fact is there is a lot different about the case, but in the earbuds themselves, there's a lot that I was really impressed with. So let's start off with the design of the case. Now we do have, first of all, new charging methods on here. So of course the classic Qi wireless charging, lightning charging with a cable, MagSafe charging is now something that Apple's been doing in more recent cases. And the new one here is charging with an Apple Watch charger. It just makes it a little bit more accessible and easy when you're traveling. If you bring that charger anyway, at least you can use it for this. On the one side, we do have a little lanyard loop. So that's great for tying onto a bag. And of course, these do have a speaker on the bottom. Now the speaker ties into one of the new features here, which is precision finding of your case. Now I don't particularly lose earbuds often, but my brother loses them all the time. So having that on here could be really beneficial to a lot of people. So the precision finding is twofold. On, on one hand, we can use the Find My app, similar to like an AirTag, for example, almost exactly like an AirTag really, where this will point and tell you where in the room it is and you can walk right up to it. It vibrates, your phone vibrates when you get closer. And the second thing is that the speaker on the bottom now helps to act, and let's turn that off, helps to find that as well. So if it's in a couch cushion or something like that, you can play that sound. So let me play it again. It's actually a pretty loud chirp, so it should be really easy to find this in really any environment. But in addition to helping you find it, the speakers also add like a little kind of a little personality to the case as well. So whenever you put the earbuds back in, you close it, you get like a little little animation sound like that. Uh, and that also happens when you charge it and other things like that. Now, talking about the earbuds themselves, right? The case is great, but there's only so much you can talk about the case. The earbuds have some differences as well. So first of all, the vent, one of the vents was moved to the top uh, instead of being in the front. So that's for better passive noise blocking. Uh, so that should, we'll talk about the ANC later on in the video. These also have new microphones on here. They have a skin detection sensor, similar to what we saw on the AirPods 3. So when you take them out of your ears, set them on a desk, they'll know it's a desk and it's not your ear and it won't automatically play a podcast when you walk away and you come back and, and you lost your spot, right? So that's not something you'll have to worry about with these. They also have swipe controls. So although we typically have the pinch controls on here and that still does exist, you can swipe them as well to change the volume. Once again, Apple's been tackling really all the complaints we had about the original AirPods Pro, which were a great pair of earbuds, but one of the things was the lack of volume controls. Like, yeah, you could do Siri and stuff like that, but having the swipe controls, which is such a great idea for them to add that to these. They also now include extra ear tips. So we have four sizes now instead of three. The fourth one is an extra small ear tip for anybody who has smaller ears. And really the last physical difference is that we can now get an engraving of a Memoji if you want your face on your AirPods Pro. Okay, so this is controversial, but I wanna talk about the aesthetics of these earbuds. Some people love the stem, some people hate the stem. And while the stem is beneficial for the pinch controls, which is great if your hands are wet, if you're wearing gloves or any other situation where you wouldn't wanna to use touch controls so they wouldn't be accurate, pinch controls are great and the stem is essential for that. And of course the AirPods stem is so widely copied by other earbuds and, and everybody has it. It's so acceptable that I can't say it looks bad. It's just another style of earbuds really. But I would say for me personally, the only thing I wish was different about the aesthetic here is I really wish that they had another color. I would love to have these in black. Uh, right now, only being available in white. Again, that's what Apple's always done with the AirPods. So it's nothing surprising there. But leave a comment and let me know what you think about the aesthetics of the AirPods Pro. Now, talking about the sound quality of these, these do have different drivers now, so we're getting slightly better bass than we had before, but still a little bit lacking on the sub bass. That's more of a personal preference. And, and keep in mind, everybody's ear geometry and, and music preferences and just your taste in general will affect this. So I wanna be as objective as possible and explain what these do well and what they maybe don't do as well. They have great clarity, so a lot of really nice high end. There is an emphasis around about a thousand hertz or so, so a lot of the higher symbols and everything around there is going to be slightly more emphasized on these, which, do, which does give you more perceived clarity. There's decent instrument separation, and in general, if I had to describe the sound of these, uh, it, it's, it's detailed, but a tad cool and a little bit thin sounding almost, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just means we don't have an X of bass or lower bass. But what these do have is volume dependent tuning, which allows for better bass at lower volumes. So from my experience, if it gets 
louder, like above 70%, the bass can't really keep up. But honestly, below 50% volume, these really do a fantastic job. You're getting a really nice warm bass in there, as well as a detail, a great mix, and a very, very capable pair of earbuds in those lower volumes. So that's something that if you don't listen to music very loud, anything that people say about lacking bass, probably won't be nearly as important to you. But anybody who's listening to really loud EDM or rap and you want like a lot of energy for a workout or something, these don't have quite as much bass as some other earbuds out there. Now, I would love to have a native EQ in the settings. That would just be so easy to access. And there are ways to EQ this, of course, but just baked into the settings, it's not really that easy. But speaking of settings, they're all finally available in one spot. So if you just go to your settings on your iPhone, you'll see right near the top, it'll say Apple AirPods Pro. And so you can go in there and change all your settings from active noise cancellation to all types of things like that, rename your device, whatever you wanna do. And we do have other great software in here as well, including an ear scan uh, for personalized 360 audio or head tracking when you're in a group FaceTime, for example, and a lot of really nice things coming out on that front. Now, personally, I don't really use 360 audio much, but a lot of people do really love it. And so the AirPods, are gonna be great for that. As far as the active noise cancellation and transparency goes, the transparency has a new feature this year, and this is essentially a transparency limiter. So this means that if you're using transparency mode and there's suddenly a very loud sound, it won't replicate that in your ears and really destroy your ears. Instead, it keeps a nice comfortable volume. There's essentially a threshold where anything over that gets brought back down to around 80-ish decibels. And so that's a really nice feature to have. You could also possibly use these at a concert, I haven't tried this yet. I will be making more content about the AirPods Pro in the future. So if you guys wanna know more about my experience with these at a concert, be sure to go down and click the subscribe button. In about a month, I'll probably make another AirPods Pro video specifically about these, and I'll tell you about that experience there. As far as the active noise cancellation goes, these, I mean, Apple claims they're twice as good as the previous model. And while that is a little bit of a confusing term, like what is 2X better? Is it 2X more energy, which is like three decibels? Or is it twice as many decibels? Like, I don't know. But I'll tell you what my experience was. It was really, really good. Putting these in, I found that in moderate volume, so anything below like 50, 52 decibels or so, these make it dead silent, like absolutely incredibly quiet. So, I mean, a lot of earbuds can crush like an air conditioner, but these do it among the best out there when it comes to making it go to zero. Not just like a little quieter, like these you actually can't hear the air conditioner at all. Noisy refrigerators or vents or anything like that completely disappear, which makes these perfect for a work environment. As far as louder volumes, they still do a really great job of blocking out female voices. Uh, obviously male voices, I only mentioned female voices because they're a higher pitch, which is usually harder to block out, but these do a good job of that as well. And in louder environments, they still do a fantastic job of blocking out like jet sounds and things like that. So overall, I was very impressed with the active noise cancellation but it's particularly impressed with anything under about 52, 53 decibels, where it just brings it down basically to zero. So let's actually get into a microphone test and see what the call quality is. All right, so this is an outdoor microphone test with the new AirPods Pro second generation. Obviously, there's a lot of traffic behind me. I can hear myself really well, so I don't feel like I'm yelling, uh, but leave a comment and let me know how the microphones sound to you. And now here are the AirPods Pro in a quieter indoor environment. So the microphones, as we know, have always been really good on the AirPods. Leave a comment and let me know how these sound to you. And last but not least, let's talk about some of the specs on these. We've got six hours in the earbuds as far as battery goes and 30 hours when you include the case. We're getting a lot of the standard specs on there, the newest Bluetooth and everything like that. And we are able to switch seamlessly between Apple devices, but they don't actually have multi-point connectivity in the traditional sense. Like if you have a Windows laptop and an iPhone and an iPad, well, you can switch seamlessly between the Apple devices, but you can't switch seamlessly to the non-Apple device. Now, you can obviously use these with any device that connects with Bluetooth, so Android phones, smart TVs, whatever it is, but with those devices, you won't have the ability to customize them. So that's a little bit of an Apple doing Apple thing situation, but if you're in the Apple ecosystem and have a MacBook and an iPhone, 
it is as good as any multi-point connectivity would be. Now, that's my take on the Apple AirPods Pro second generation. Overall, a fantastic pair of earbuds, a very welcomed upgrade to the AirPods Pro, which for a long time were easily among the top five earbuds on the market, but you know, they're getting older. They're starting to fall a little bit in there, and this brings them right back up in the running for the best earbuds on the market. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan. Thanks for watching. See you next time.